By now, the Cloverfield station housing the particle accelerator called Shepard still looms in Earth's orbit and by now has a unified agreement to get it going at all costs. The reason for the unification is due to each nation not only wanting the glory of getting the energy up and not trusting the other side to not cause any issues to impede a rival nation. As known in 10 Cloverfield Lane, nations did not trust each other over the energy fluctuations. In this near future, one of the creatures has made it to the United Kingdom where, at the same time, the Shepherd and the crew vanishes from space into another reality that places the mission in jeopardy. On Earth, the creature spreads its offspring as the United Kingdom fight for its life. The cold, the richer oxygen, and close quarter living allows some of the offspring to grow twice the size of their predecessors. The nation's leaders blame each other for a while as war breaks out. The people follow suit and fight against fellow earthlings in partisan support of their nation while some remove their patriotism and simply want to survive. When Ava, the lone survivor of the Shepherd, lands in an open field covered in a thick mist, a UK military force collects her, practically interrogates her, while all she cares to do is find her husband. During this time, the husband, Michael, is informed of his wife's retrieval, and with his newfound friend, Molly, they face the outside to reunite with Ava, who is set free to hear the distant bombs, gunfire, and roars of the monsters. She doesn't know what else to do but to return home in hopes to find her husband is alive. During their journey, they both acquire a form of communication that does not allow them to talk to each other. They listen to the reports of the chaos that is spread around the world, all the while the rendered information from the Cloverfield Station is analyzed by the United Kingdom government and shared with their remaining ally, the United States of America. They go over everything that transpired in space and what they are seemingly and futilely up against. They send a message to all of their top donors to fund a new project. The project name is C-E-L-E, -E, pronounced CELI. It stands for Cloverfield Extinction Level Event. And under the guise of it, they ask for financial aid of the people to support the building of the next generation of space to ground particle beams that have been proven to not only hurt the creatures, but kill them. They offer the other solution, super pollute the air, thus reducing their size, weakening their bodies to become susceptible to gunfire and thus, and more regrettably, rendering the Earth's atmosphere unsuitable for human life. The people of all nations pour their money into the words of their governments as the CELE project gets underway. All nations' leaders give their support and thus are left in on the true intentions. The leaders, the wealthy, and the most important citizens in all fields will be allowed onto the Cloverfield space station where they will use the failed method to transport themselves to the other earth where they will use the shepherd to give them the energy they need in exchange for safe passage and retention of their positions of power. It's an offer that cannot be refused. 